day is here. We are going to World Youth Day in Lisbon, Portugal. So World Youth Day is this big Catholic conference from young Catholics all around the world. It was started by St. Pope John Paul II and it's been a tradition that the church does every four years with young Catholic people from all around the world. This year, Benji and I have the opportunity to go, so I feel so blessed and so grateful. I'm super excited to get to share this experience with you guys, and I know that there's gonna be a lot to contemplate and ponder on, but I want to give you guys my thoughts at the very end. We are at a hotel in Miami right now because Benji flew in from Atlanta. <laughs> Benji made these <laughs> little Mexican aguinaldos is what they're called to give out at World Youth Day. Wow. I might just have to keep one of these. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this is real chicken, bro. This is frango, bro. This real is real chicken. chicken. What is your review of um, <laughs> McDonald's here? Does it taste different than like McChicken? The chicken, the chicken is like chicken. It's not, it <laughs> That's a Benji. <laughs> yeah, bro. You heard it here first. <laughs> I heard the monks pray at Liturgy of the Hours. It was so beautiful. <laughs> How are we doing? 
How are we doing? <laughs> This is so cool. So many people from so many different places, different cultures, but we're all united by Jesus in the Eucharist. They have cookies with the Pope on it and even JP2. We are at this Portuguese bakery and I'm gonna try my first pastel de nata. No? <laughs> okay, it's funny because Benji actually has been practicing Portuguese and studying it, but he wasn't able to understand what the, <laughs> what the lady was saying. <laughs> what the lady was saying but somehow i was able to understand what she was trying to tell us um, when we were ordering this looks that is beautiful look at that texture <laughs> Mm. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. It's like a lighter flan and a little lobster tail. USA! 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 Good morning from Lisbon. So much has happened these past few days. Since this is a pilgrimage, it's harder for me to have consistent thought updates to share with you all because I'm also just processing and praying with everything at the same time as it's happening. So I want to do a better recap at the end of this video. Yesterday we had the opening mass with 1.5 million young Catholics. That's definitely the largest mass that I have ever attended. It's been so beautiful seeing so many different cultures and people from so many different places. The group that I'm with is so much fun and we will literally just chant at whatever group of people are walking by us with whatever flag they're holding up. Like if it's a France flag, we'll just say Viva la France or just like Spain or Portugal, just anyone will just kind of like join in their little chant that they might have going on. The people that I'm here with are from Miami. So Miami is very diverse. Some of us are American and another culture. So Benji and I obviously were Mexican-American. Our parents are from Mexico. And so there's like different combinations of that. But then there's also different people that are with us that are actually from different countries in South America and Latin America. So we just kind of have a mix. And our flag is actually really funny, but um, I think it's just cool that it's really unique. We have the United States flag, the Vatican flag, and then we have like different other flags where everyone's from combined into one flag. So we definitely know which flag is ours when we just like see it in the air. A really cool thing that people do at World Youth Day is that they bring items to trade with someone from a different country. And Benji actually bought some really cool items. I have just been giving away stickers. It's just a tradition that people will bring like different bracelets or stickers or prayer decades and things like that. And then they'll give it to you and then you can give them something that you brought. And then at the end, you just kind of have like a collection, different things from all around the world, which is really cool. Benji actually brought a little stuffed animal Mickey Mouse. So he's trying to find like the best moment to give that to someone. So I'm sure that's gonna be a very special encounter. I actually have some friends here from different places so I hope that I can meet up with them. Benji met up 
with a friend from England yesterday so that was really cool for him but yeah it's just crazy like I've never been at something like this we have some free time right now so we're gonna go explore so I'm really excited for that I want to try a pastel de nata from the original place it's at the city of joy at the belem bakery that is on my bucket list that's probably like top on my bucket list right now so i hope to get to do that while i'm here i will keep you guys as updated as i can i really just wanted to vlog for the memories and also just so that i can share with you guys a little bit of my experience here i got this little american flag fanny pack that i got on sale from target after fourth of july and this was a great purchase that way it'll be really easy for people to spot me and know that i'm from america Many taught them, many fed them. Every one of us tonight, everyone in this, in this space, is coming with something on his heart, something on her heart, some suffering, some question, some anxiety. Realize tonight, everybody, when the Lord is here, he's looking at you with compassion. He understands what's on your heart. It's different for every one of us. Because the Lord gave us distinctive gifts and a distinctive experience and background. We're meant to carry His love into the world in some distinctive way. But when you find that, you found the treasure buried in the field. When you find that, you found the pearl of great price. And so do it. Sell everything else you've got and buy that. One, one last thing, everybody. Um, do you know how our culture puts such a premium now on safety, doesn't it? Safe spaces and keeping us safe and I'm being threatened and that's, a, that's threatening my safety. Well, look, I mean, I get it. We all want to be safe. It's a, it's a value. But can I suggest to you that a religion that puts before our eyes a man pinned to a cross is not a religion putting a high priority on safety. <laughs> Wow. Well. <laughs> oh yeah.
It's crazy out here. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look at that. The is Okay guys, so I'm back from the City of Joy. That's what they were calling it this week for World Youth Day, but I don't actually know the name of the area, but it's by this beautiful monastery and the Pastel de Blem place. That was just such a cute cafe shop. I definitely recommend it. I recommend stopping in there if you get the chance. I loved all the tile. The Spanish style interior is so, so beautiful. I love Spanish style architecture. So I wanted to do a little haul for you guys of a couple of things that I have gotten so far. 
I love this mug that I got. It's super pretty. So it has a lot of the places that we visited on it. So I just thought it was perfect. Like it has the cathedral, monastery, some monuments. And I actually saw all of these places and I just like thought the art was really pretty in it. Um, it looks like it's like hand painted. I love this so much. I also got another mug. So this one, I believe is gonna be a gift. It's kind of similar to that one. It has like all different monuments on it, but it's more of a like girly artsy design. These next two things are from Fatima. So when we went on our first day here, I love this so much. I got this for my mom and it goes with like the beautiful just tile colors. And so this is like a spoon rest for the kitchen. I thought this was so pretty. Our new house is like cool toned. So I just thought this would be really nice for the kitchen. And then I also got to remember my trip. I got a little Our Lady of Fatima icon. It's just simple but beautiful. I feel like when I go on trips, I don't really get myself so much stuff, but I get more for other people and then I forget to get something for myself to remember the trip, but I was able to get that. I also got this really I'm so happy to be doing this because it's like a souvenir haul. I miss doing hauls. Maybe it's a sign. <laughs> I got this tote bag and it has these little tile designs. I just thought it was perfect. Um, it's this like cream color and it also has like a little button. I love tote bags. I'm really happy about this. Also, they gave us a lot of things with like World Youth Day itself. So I do have a lot of like World Youth Day themed souvenirs oh i forgot to show this one from fatima this one's really pretty too so this is like a little tile little tile magnet and it has the kids that our lady of fatima appeared to so this will be for my family and really cool thing actually for my dad i never know what to get my dad because there's not anything that i could get him that he couldn't already get for himself but like I try to be really sentimental with the gifts and stuff, but I don't just want to get him like a magnet or like another mug or something like that. So this is actually really cool. So I got my dad this newspaper. I don't know what it says on it. I hope it's like all good things. It shows photos of the pilgrimage that we had and it even has like a photo of Pope Francis on the inside. So I just thought this was really cool like moment in history to like keep on a newspaper. And then lastly, oh it's it's all wrapped up very special. Um I'm just going to undo it and redo it so I can show you guys. Okay, I'm really excited about this. It is a little tile piece and it has our lady of fatima on it but you can also hang it up so it's just so so special i forgot to show you guys i also got this beautiful pearl bracelet i just thought it was so stunning and it just like makes outfits more elegant so that is it for my portugal haul <laughs> The knights and the knights, they have different functions, and if we have people that arrive from the outside, local. So, you know, these communities, they had different functions. The temples were here, and you'll see many cloisters. Not only they defended our territory, they controlled everything in a way of developing the local economy as well, but also they received so some of these areas that you're going to cross, they were used like small hospitals. In the old days, there were no official hospitals like we have them today, right? Uh, many people that were healed and needed to uh, some help, they would stop in public and public.
to get teary. It's so stunning here. Bring back beautiful churches. This is like the courtyard of my dream. I have a little cafe. Could a zillion percent live here? In one of these tiny rooms, that this was to be my view. Hello guys, I am back from World Youth Day and I'm actually wearing my World Youth Day shirt right now. I really hope that you guys enjoyed all of these special clips. I hope that I was able to transmit even just a little bit of what we experienced in Lisbon. There were so many kinds of moments on the trip and ultimately it reminded me that there is one holy catholic and apostolic church, one universal church, and that God truly holds it together. It was incredible to see so many people united by Jesus in the Eucharist. It was so beautiful to see their joy and their enthusiasm and just see so many people from so many different countries. It was just such a unique experience in that way like I'd never experienced anything like that before. I went on this trip just looking to have an encounter with Jesus. I tried to not have many expectations about what would happen. As you guys saw from the video there were so many people there awaiting the arrival of Pope Francis. We had a really close spot but I wasn't expecting to have the kind of moment that I had where it felt like he looked at me and he looked into my eyes and there were so many people. He didn't have to look at me, but he did. And I felt seen by God the Father's love and I just broke down afterwards. It felt like I was the Samaritan woman who touched Jesus's cloak and he knew it was her. It was probably only for a short moment that he looked at me now that I look back at the clip, but when it was happening it felt like an entire minute at least. It was a really special experience that is hard to put into words. I feel so grateful that God wanted me to have that experience, that gift, and I know it's definitely going to be something that I remember for the rest of my life. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'm super excited for all of the videos that are to come. I'm just a girl in her mid-twenties trying to share with you guys the joy of being a young Catholic and that's just what I strive to do on my channel. Hopefully give some of you all who are Catholic someone to identify with and remind you that we're in this together on this walk towards eternity. I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, remember that you are seen, known, and infinitely loved.